Absolutely. February is heart month and today we're talking heart healthy oatmeal. It contains fiber to lower cholesterol. Hi V is here with three ways to make the night before uh, for breakfast on the go. Melissa Yeager is a dietitian at Hy-Vee and always has wonderful, wonderful things for us. And you brought breakfast this morning. I brought you plenty of breakfast Which to is enjoy great. this morning. You got to fill yourself up, fuel yourself for the yeah. rest of the day, right? What is it about oatmeal? I mean, we always hear, oh, it's good for you, it's good for cholesterol, but there's a lot of other things that, that make it really good for yes. you. Yes. So, one of the main points of oatmeal is that it actually contains beta glucan, which is a soluble fiber, which mm -hmm. actually helps to bind with cholesterol and help to lower the bad or the LDL cholesterol in mm -hmm. our system, which is very important for being part of a heart healthy diet. It also contains an insoluble fiber that actually helps to keep our digestive tract moving and grooving. So mm. it's got both types in there. And then it also contains a variety of B vitamins. So for example, thiamine, which actually helps us to mm -hmm. process and break down carbohydrates and turn them into energy. So lots of different good benefits with oatmeal. But I think a lot of times people think of it as the old fashioned, like warm, mushy right. cup of oats. Right. And there are so many ways to jazz it up. So I brought three different ways today and to show so you. And it's so versatile. There's so much that you can do with exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. And you can bake with it and you mm -hmm. can certainly cook it up in a crock pot in large batches if you prefer warm oats. Mm -hmm. But I really like these prep ahead over night oats because you can prep them and put them in singular containers, yeah. grab one in the fridge, and then that whole excuse of, Melissa, I don't have time to have breakfast have is gone. Oatmeal, yes, so now, yeah. exactly. So okay, now that good. is gone today. Um, so we brought in three different varieties. On this side over here, we have our toasted coconut okay. overnight oats. Yum. And so with any of these, it's essentially equal ratios of liquid to oatmeal so mm -hmm. that they can process and bind together. And in this one, we even added some coconut milk to really bring out that mm -hmm. coconut flavor. And we've added in some chia seeds. And then I love to top it with some of my favorite tropical fruits. Now you'll see kiwi in there, pineapple, mm. and then some additional toasted coconut. Yeah. Um, did you know that you can actually eat the skin on kiwi? I did not know that. So the you skin can? of the kiwi is completely is edible you? and it's actually higher in fiber. So it's a well, really nice go. way to amplify the fiber See? content. The more you know. The more you know, Isn't right, for nice? Heart Health Month. And so with that being said, I know you might not necessarily want to bite right into it because of the fuzzy texture. Mm -hmm. But if you prefer, I like to really thinly slice it, leaving the skin on. And then that way you just get a little bit of texture with it. Otherwise, I'm try it. if you're a smoothie guy, just throw it in your smoothie and okay. blend it up. Um, then on this side over here, we have the lemon blueberry cheesecake overnight oats. Which smells amazing. It does smell amazing. Yeah. The lemon zest is key in that one. Um, and again, adding in different types of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids with chia seeds or flaxseed meal to okay. any of these can really amplify the protein and fiber content. In the center is what we're actually going to make today. Let's so do it. we are doing the chocolate peanut butter, okay. which I think will be a favorite for everybody. So you start by actually mashing up half of a banana. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to have, I'll have you add in the oatmeal for okay. me. And I'm going to add in this pumpkin. So canned pumpkin is a really great way to add in additional fiber, uh -huh. vitamins and minerals, lots of vitamin A in pumpkin. So, and it can also really help to thicken the dish. Okay. And then if you want to dump in those uh, from chocolate Was chips and chia seed. Yep, I or? just used Fairlife milk. Okay. Um, you could use any of your preferred milk. So if you have allergies to lactose, yeah. you can certainly do an almond milk or coconut vanilla? milk, a little bit of vanilla extract. Mm. We got some peanut butter there peanut that you can butter. scoop out and add in. And then just a little Oops. bit of honey for sweetness today. Of course. Hang on. There we go. There you so go. So then, what is the uh, it's overnight? Obviously, but what is the yes. time that it needs to sit? I would say for sure as, a as couple as... hours, but overnight should be just completely mm. fine. And then, if you wanted to stir that all together, you can mix it up. And then with I'm going to toss in this. We stir with the spoon. Yes. Okay. This cocoa powder. And then it so it sits overnight, and then. How long is it just regular? You put it in the microwave and zap it? No, you can eat it cold. You can eat it cold? You can eat it cold on the go. If you prefer warm oats, you're more than welcome to heat it up. Okay. But I actually prefer to eat it cold. It's easy to grab and go with that way, and then you're not having to add in any additional time in the morning. And then at least several hours in the fridge, if not overnight, yeah. allows the oats there to go. absorb the liquid, thicken up, and then that way you have Perfect. your breakfast on the go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for I'm having me try back some out. Of, this. Really Enjoy. Enjoy. of course, we do have the link if you'd like it. You can um, text the word recipes to 763-797-7215. And a reminder, this is a text only number. Don't call in. Just text. You'll get the recipe. We'll be right back. This is really